20 members of the Bemidji Fire Department were exposed to anhydrous ammonia while battling a fire in Bemidji's industrial park on Monday afternoon. The fire was reported at Northwoods Ice at 3.43 p.m. Firefighters were unable to enter the structure due to heavy smoke, high heat, and low visibility, so they extinguished the fire from the exterior. They also learned that a large amount of anhydrous ammonia was stored in the building and was leaking due to the fire. While we, the firefighters were actively fighting the fire, the owner of the structure informed us that there were 1,600 pounds of anhydrous ammonia here. Um, and we pulled firefighters back and then we started noticing uh, a smell in a, in a white cloud. And so firefighters pulled back and began uh, decontaminating themselves immediately. And that's when this, the Minnesota State uh, Hazmat team responded. All structures within 0.2 miles downwind of the scene were evacuated. A hazardous materials team was called in and they isolated the leak by locating two valves. 28 firefighters were on the scene and many were monitored for signs or symptoms of exposure to anhydrous ammonia, but there were no injuries. Not being aware as to what we were getting into, anhydrous ammonia can you know, cause severe respiratory distress um, uh, in, in addition to some other adverse health effects. So um, we're monitoring them. Uh, no injuries were reported, but we are concerned about any respiratory injuries. Um, but as of now, we're good. But um, we're hopeful that we haven't had anything, but we're gonna continue to monitor them long term. Today, hazmat teams were back on the scene after a small amount of anhydrous ammonia was once again discovered in the building. No one this afternoon was being allowed into the building to investigate the fire until the hazmat team clears it again. To the general public, there is no threat, um, no threat at all. Uh, we have it under control. Um, we have professionals coming to the area, so you can rest easy tonight. But we just ask people just stay, out, stay away from the area um, as there's going to be a lot of activity here throughout the day. Fire officials are still investigating what caused the fire, but Sherwood says it appears to be accidental in nature. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.